Ladies and gentlemen, greetings, my name is Denis and yes, we finally got our hands on Blue Yeti charging station, namely the model AC200L. It weighs almost 30 kilograms, has a power of an average gasoline generator, a set of peripherals to power a multi-room apartment and therefore is suitable for pretty much any task during blackouts. It is also suitable for guys at ground zero, because even the connectors here are all under the rainproof caps. Although, let's start with price. It is the most expensive charging station I ever reviewed and it costs 1600 euros, sometimes even lower due to sales, especially holiday ones. And the other important thing, Blue Yeti AC200L is classified as duty exempt device under the recent Ukrainian law. This is cool, especially for people that will actually donate them to the AFU. In general, the main idea of this review was to explain which Blue power station with a capacity of about 2 kilowatts you should choose because there are four of them I mean in the AC200 line, AC200 Max, AC200P, AC200PL and yes AC200L. Two models are old, two models are new. The old ones have a touch screen and are mostly controlled with it, while the new ones are controlled by buttons below the screen, but most of the settings are anyways made with a mobile app. AC200P is the only one who does not have support of this very app. The AC200 Max is is the only one who only supports Bluetooth connection, not Wi-Fi. And the AC200L is the only one who does not have a Qi charging station on the top. But the main advantage of new models is that they can charge directly from the outlet and support fast pass-through charging and can function as UPS. The old models are charged with a separate external power supply unit and were not able to UPS in any way. Next. Blue Yeti AC200L is delivered in two cardboard boxes and durable foam polypropylene. But I managed to tear the handles of the inner box just a little bit, because they are not reinforced in any way with anything. Also, you should carry this box with someone, because let me remind you, it weighs 30 kilograms. That's more than a game in chairs or tables. Next, the cables included are as follows. For solar panels, for car 20 volts, the main power cable with a proprietary 3-pit connector, the box also contains a manual and a screw, a single one. And yeah, I'm usually angry about the proprietary cables, but I forgive Blue Yeti because their connector is waterproof and delivers more than enough power. Actually, let's move to the peripherals, because AC200L has a lot of them. And we will start with the front ones. On the right, there are four 230 volt sockets with a support of pure scene wave stabilization. Of course, the socket type and voltage will depend on the country. In the center we have two type C 100 watts and two type A 15 watts. On the left there are cigarette lighter connector and 48 volt DC. As for charging, Blue Yeti AC200L can be powered by solar panels with up to 1200 watts and can get power from AC outlet with up to twice as much. On the left there are three pin connector for a proprietary power cable, a two pin connector for charging with direct current an insulated fuse and even a connector for additional battery, thanks to which you can increase the total capacity of the system up to maximum of 8 kilowatt hours. Now the app on the phone. It is called Blue Yeti 2.0, is made for Android and iOS and connects to AC200L with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. The latter is cool because you can control the station remotely through the internet. In the app you can turn on the increased power mode up to 3600 watts change the charging speed, set the priority of charging source, adapt to power surges, there are power consumption measurements and more. It is even possible to set the charging schedule so the charging station does not wake you up in the middle of the night. So yes, I give this app 5 out of 5. Now for testing. We powered 1500 watt Ariston boiler, 120 watt TV, 2000 watt washing machine, 170 watt LG refrigerator, 14 100 watt microwave, 1000 watt coffee maker and 900 watt toaster. And believe it 
it or not, the station powered all of the appliances without a single problem. Also, given its maximum load, which is either 3600 watt or even 7200 watts for a short-term surges, you can power almost all kitchen appliances at the same time. Also, I remind you that the detailed testing will be in the text review. The link is in the description. As for negatives, probably just the cost. If you need purely power and capacity, uh, there are alternatives from Chinese brands, which are also working great, I'm sure of it, but I am already testing one of similar models, not from Blueti, and the lower cost there is ensured by the corners being cut strongly in some places. Not in terms of capacity or basic functionality, but they are cut. And don't forget that even Blue Yeti has models that are slightly better than this one. Now to recap. Blue Yeti SC200L is fully about providing your home with power for many hours. In the case of blackouts, it is obviously very important. But even more important is that the capacity of this station is huge with the possibility of expanding and the maximum power is such that you can provide power to the induction stove if needed. So yes, it gets my recommendation. And that's all for me. And as for you, write in the comments below what are your priorities for buying charging stations. Is it max power or capacity or maybe weight? As for me, it's probably capacity with the ability to expand it further. But you? Write in the comments, don't be shy. As for usual, don't forget to like, subscribe and push the bell icon. But the comments are the most important thing. YouTube just loves them. My name is Denis Zaychenko with Root Nation channel. Take care and I'll see you later.